We're in this logic of a potential trade conflict with the EU. Look, if there's a U.S.-China deal, which it appears there will be of some form, this administration probably will focus its energies on the EU. The administration, the president, is particularly annoyed that the EU runs a big trade surplus with the United States, particularly because of Germany. And now we have the Boeing Airbus dispute and so on as part of this equation. And unfortunately, there is a risk that the U.S. and EU will now be in a dynamic of a trade friction. Mm, okay, that's not something to look forward to, uh, I guess. Uh, uh, what's also interesting is I mean, what the president, or rather the Trump administration, has been trying to do is to cobble together a, I guess you could uh, describe it as a, as a coalition, uh, especially among allies in uh, Europe on two issues. One is on Huawei, the Chinese tel telco gear giant, to try and shut it out of certain uh, geographies and therefore out of 5G as well. And also on Belt and Road, China's huge uh, infrastructure uh, rollout or initiative. But consensus, or rather that coalition in Europe, is not forming, is it? No, it's not forming. No European country is saying no way Huawei. <laughs> now, even, okay. even the United Kingdom, our, our closest ally arguably in Europe, is saying yes, we see some problems with Huawei, but it's not because of a back door the Chinese state has created, because the, they're saying that there may be some security concerns, but we think we can address them. Other countries, including Germany, are not saying no way Huawei. On One Belt, One Road, there's also not an agreement with the United States to say no way to One Belt, One Road. Italy, is, we've seen, has signed a public you know, memorandum of understanding with the Chinese. Others, like Portugal and Greece, are saying we like Chinese investment. So there is a clear difference of view with the United States. And the reaction of Washington is, in some cases, threats. Mm. If you use Huawei as part of your 5G infrastructure, well, that's going to have an impact on the information we share with you, mm. including the UK and the Five Eyes. So the U U.S. is saying there are consequences if you take a different path. Well, is it conceivable that because of this lack of unity uh, in Europe with regards to shutting out Huawei and also uh, shutting out uh, uh, or uh, shutting out uh, Belt and Road, that the Trump administration could uh, uh, weave this into trade as well. You don't play ball on Huawei and BRI, well, you've got some tariffs coming. Well, that would be a mistake. Yeah. You know, if that is the position of, that Washington's going to take, that is a mistake. And the fundamental reason is that when you look at our common concerns, U.S. and European concerns about China, mm. we probably agree on 90 percent intellectual property protection force transfer right of technology market access issues public procurement the list is very long yeah. subsidies right the role of state-owned enterprise we agree on 90 percent what we should be doing is working with the EU more not mm. threatening the EU saying we're going to put tariffs you know tit for tat 12 billion of uh, retaliation because mm. of Airbus 11 billion you know Boeing and so on and this is this is a shame because we are partners on not only trade but so many issues I lived through this for mm. three years as an ambassador <laughs> on law enforcement, on sanctions, on many other issues, we are our best partners.